Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will see how we can integrate preloaded to a client side application developed using JavaScript framework like React, Vue, or Angular. So, first, I will explain you this concept with an example and then later we will implement it in our code. So, first, you need to know the concept of preloader. Uh, now, if I go to Instagram.com, you can see for a brief moment of time uh, an icon was there. Now, if we go to network tab and reduce our internet speed to slow 3G. Now, if I will load, it will appear for uh, more time. Yeah, you can see this Instagram icon. This is the preloader that Instagram is using. Like before the content will load, that uh, loader will be there. Now, if I go to the page source of this website, here you can see this is developed using React. Uh, it is having an ID of react root uh, and we have this span with an SVG that this SVG is the icon which we are getting for the first time like when we load we get that icon uh, which is coming from here and then later what happens the whole website is being inserted into this div so this is how client side rendering happens when we load it for the first time we get this an empty div and the whole uh, code is later then inserted into it in our browser. So until then this loader will appear. Now we will uh, integrate this feature into our own uh, builds app. So I will explain you like how we can create a loader and then we can uh, integrate it as well as how we can create a controlled loader too. We will go to the index.html file of our react app which will load for the first time. You can do these changes in any of the react application if you have. Uh, will have index.html file everywhere so this is the root div now what we'll do we'll insert a div with id spinner and class container and a loading class so now before the uh, whole application is loaded into our browser this spinner div will appear i have created some style so we'll add inline styling here we have a loading as a container and this keyframe for uh, animation now if we save it now if I load this website, this spinner div will appear which will be basically a loader. Yeah, you can see this and once the content is being loaded, uh, it will get replaced. So here you can see we have a div with root and now the content is loaded. But for the first time, you will see there will be a spinner div. Yeah, you can see there is this spinner div. So this is how loader works. We can add images or GIF as well for the loader. So now you will see it will have a gif so yeah, before the content will be loaded into our browser uh, this loader will appear or oh, we have added network throttling here that's why uh, it was loading for more time now this is one way of adding loader now another way is we can add a control loader uh, which we will be able to display for as long as we want uh, now to create control loader we will put this thing outside into the body so uh, if we load it now you will see this loader but even when the content is loaded uh, this loader will be there because it is in the body it is not being getting replaced because we have not inserted into this root div so what we will do we'll go to our app.js this will be the file which will load when the app will render so here we'll create a state so first we'll create a loading state so we'll import use state from react and we'll create loading set loading and we'll mark it initially true and now we will select that a spinner div uh, we have an id here right id is equal to a spinner so we can select using document dot get element by id a spinner now we will check if we have an a spinner we will call a set timeout function or oh, which will run this callback function after two seconds or oh, we can control this that's how uh, it will be a control loader now we'll apply spinner dot style dot display is equal to none we are hiding it and we'll put 
set loading false here uh, next thing what we'll do display our site when it is not loading like once loading is completed we will display so now if we go and reload so this loader will be there you can see yeah but uh, once it is loaded uh, this loader won't be there but because now you can see we have applied a display none property here right so if you go to any other builds or anywhere in the app but once we will load that uh, loading will be true and loader will appear but after that uh, this code will run and after two second this loading will become false so we can control this from here now there can be many other approaches for adding this preloader uh, you guys can tell me like how do you like to do in the com I hope you guys understand this concept of preloader and client side rendering in react if you guys have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section if you are new to this channel do subscribe and share this video with your friends uh, see you soon in next video